What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to get iDevice walls on your device with no jailbreak needed. That is probably one of the most common questions here on the channel is, where do you get your wallpapers? Well, one of the places is the application iDevice walls. If you guys are jailbroken, I would recommend to get it through Cydia as that's the more permanent way. But like I said, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it with no need for a jailbreak. So this is definitely very cool. Uh, so the first thing you guys are going to want to do is obviously plug your device into your computer. And now we're going to jump over to my computer. All right. So the first thing you're going to need is a program called Impactor, Cydia Impactor. This is a program that's going to allow you to install the application, the .ipa, onto your device. I'll leave a link for Impactor down in the description if you guys don't have it. So like I said, go ahead and go to Impactor and download the program onto your computer. The next step, we're going to go ahead and open up Safari and you're going to want to come to this website right here. Again, I'll leave the link for this in the description as well. It is ipa-rhino.com. And if we just scroll down a little bit here, you guys can see there's a ton of applications that you can uh, install on your device and right here is iDevice walls. So from here what we're going to do is click on more information and then you just click on the red button the download.ipa. I've already done it so I'm not going to do it again so we can go ahead and close out. Here is the IPA iDevice walls on my desktop and as you guys can see I do have Impactor open. Uh, like I said make sure your device is connected to your computer and Impactor should automatically detect it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and just drag the IPA onto Impactor and it should pop up with uh, a pop-up to sign in with your iTunes email and passcode. This is 100% safe. It's just to authorize the application to be installed on your device. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. All right, I am done entering my passcode and as you guys can see, Impactor is actually installing the application onto my device right now. So it is all done and we're going to jump back over to my device. All right. So as you guys can see, there is the application right there. Now, when you guys go to open it the first time, you're going to get a pop up saying an untrusted developer. How you're going to want to fix that is go into settings, go to general, swipe all the way down until you see profiles and device management. Click on that. And then you go into the section that has your email that you used. And then you can go ahead and click on trust. Mine are already trusted, so I don't need to do it. And then once you're done doing that, we'll swipe back over and we can open up iDevice walls. Uh, this is definitely a really, really good application to find wallpapers. Uh, like I said, that's one of the most common questions here on the channel is where do you get those wallpapers? What application, uh, applications do you use? Uh, I do use, you know, other ones, but this is probably one of the main ones and there are a ton of of different wallpapers to find within iDevice walls. Uh, this is one I'm using right now that I uh, saved earlier today that I really like. As you guys can see, you can select on the uh, wallpaper. You can click on save to camera roll, give it access to your photos, and the wallpaper is now saved. And uh, another thing that's really good about this application is all of the wallpapers found on here are all HD high definition and they all look really, really good, even on the bigger iPhone, like the 7 Plus here. So, like I said, guys, this is definitely one of the best applications to get wallpapers from. Again, it's called iDevice Walls. No jailbreak needed doing this method. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Also, I do want to add, uh, I do have a new playlist called No Jailbreak Needed for all of the cool stuff that I've been showing you guys. If you want to discover more applications and more cool stuff you can do on your device uh, without a jailbreak, be sure to check out that playlist. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.